Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well somebody asked what was the best Flipbox plugin. <laughs> There's a lot of them out there. One of my favorites here is from Divi Supreme Modules which is a premium plugin and we've covered this one before. But this is my personal one that I like to use because you can hover on it and do your little flips there. Or you can set up a version where you can click on it and flip and you can say tap on me for tablet and mobile versions of it. Really easy to use and set up and it's a nice little feature to have on your website. So let's get started I'll show you how it's done. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Let's add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section and I'm going to pop two columns in there. Okay, if we roll down, when you install Divi Supreme modules, you get 40 or so, so of these new modules here. And there's some absolute fantastic modules there really are. We're going to be looking at the Flipbox today. There it is, Supreme Flipbox. So it's going to prompt us to add a new item. I'm going to hit the little add new item button there. And there it's popped something in. And it flips automatically when I turn it right there. You can put in your text in the text down below, obviously. Whatever you want to put up there. Put a subtitle if you want to. And you've got a regular text box down below with all the usual settings, justifying, aligning. Put headings in, bold, italicize, link if you want to. I'm going to leave mine just like that. You can add an image or an icon we add a little image to the top Let's perhaps add a small image this little lady right there or you can put an icon there if you prefer and to put an icon there let's get rid of our image just flip that over to an icon and because we're going to flip let's use an arrow obviously you put in whatever icon you want that's great now if we go down below you can link the whole module to somewhere by putting a link in here if you want to but as we're going to flip over to the other side, I'm going to have a call to action button on the other side. I'm going to leave that blank. And I'm not going to add a button. Just add a button if you want to. Simply put what you want on there. And it's not going to show up until you put a URL in there. So if I put a hashtag in there, you'll see it's right there. But like I said, I don't want a button on the front. I'm going to have a call to action on the other end. So I'm going to take those away background well, let's pop an image in the background and as usual you've got normal options of color gradient image or video if you want to put one in there and you're going to notice there that it doesn't quite cover the background there and we're set to cover so what we can do now just to make sure it's going to cover everything is I'm done with my content tab at the moment. Let's go to design. I'm going to go down to sizing. We'll make it the actual size we want. So I'm going to slide down to minimum height. And I want mine to be about 300 pixels high. So you can either drag it down or you can just type in your value over here. Just put in the 300. It'll put in the pixels for you. And you can increment up and down with the little arrows for a bit of fine tuning. Great. Well, that's the size that we want it now, but can't really see that text very well. So I'm going to put the text in the middle. I'm going to make it light in color. And that's OK. But again, it's getting a little lost in that picture there. So we can do our title separately if we want to. Let's just capitalize that and make it a bit heavier. Let's make it bold. But to make things stand out even more on this side, we can go back to our background in the content tab. We can add a color as well to our image. Just add background color. Choose the color we want. Let's go with the purple right now. We can go back over to our image. And as long as we've got parallax disabled with no up there, we've got a blend feature down here. And I'm going to just use multiply to multiply that purple with our image there. 
And as you can see, you can still see the image, but it's multiplied that purple color with it, which is a nice little feature. And they've got some wonderful effects if you play with some of these. But for me, that multiplier is going to work perfectly. Great. OK, we can add a bit of padding left, right if we want to. Let's go to our image and icon. I'm going to take that icon just down a little bit in size. Let's make it a crazy color. And you can have it on the top or the left if you prefer. I like mine on the top for this particular case. And I'm going to take it down a little bit in size, icon size there. Great. Let's give our writing a bit of padding left and right there. So again, I'm going to roll down. I'm going to go down to spacing this time. And left and right, let's give it, say, 50 picks. Just put in the 50, it'll put in the pixels. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side for you. OK, side one, I'm happy with that. And we've got nothing for side two yet. So when you're happy with yours, click the little check mark. It'll take us back to the main Supreme Flipper box settings. And we can add a new one. For expediency, I'm just going to clone our first one here and we'll just tweak it a little bit. So let's go into our second one. If I do this now, you'll see it's got the same on the back. I'll just leave the text as it is. Obviously, you can put in whatever you want yours to say. I'm going to take the icon away on the back. Remember, we're looking at the front one now. So I'm going to take that away. And if we look at the back, icon's gone there. I'm going to align my text on the left hand side and add a button for the back. So I'm going to go down the button and whatever you want your button to say, obviously, it's not going to show up till I put the link in down there. So let's put a hashtag in in place of a link. Always best practice if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the window, same window. If you're linking off site to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab so your site stays open. OK, and we'll just change that background out as well on that picture. So let's put another little image in there. We'll get rid of that one. And we'll put the city lights in there. How does that look? That's fine. Great. And there's our button. I don't think I'm going to change that. I can read everything pretty well there. But I would like to align everything on the left hand side. So let's go to design. Up to my text at the top. I'm just going to align it to the left. I'm going to go down to the button. You can use custom styles and make that button however you wish. But I want to align it on the left. If we open it up, you've got all the regular things, text color, background color, and common to most Divi modules. If you hover up over the dark writing, you'll see some little icons appear. There's a little arrow there. You can set different values for desktop, which is when your mouse is not on it, and for hover, obviously, when your mouse is on it. If you want two different colors or something like that, you can do that there. But I'm going to leave mine just as it is. We've got our little button there, and we've got our little text, very legible at the top there. So if I save this now, it'll take us back to our main Supreme Flipbox settings. We'll save it again. Now let's exit, take a look at it on the front end. Now we'll go down, we'll take a look. And there it is, front and back, there's our little button. You can click on it, take them where you want with the button. When they hover back off of it, it'll flip round to the front. And that's a nice little feature right there. But one of the other great features I like about this flip box, as opposed to several others that I've tried before, is you can do a click version. So it won't actually do anything till you actually click on it. So if I click on this one now, you'll see it flips to the other side. Really easy to do. And of course, this sort of thing, I think would be more appropriate for mobile devices. You could perhaps say tap on me. So let's do that. Let's go back in there and I'll show you how easy it is to do that. So if I go down now, I'm actually going to clone this module right here. Two little squares to clone it. I'm going to drag one across over to our other side here rather than build from scratch. And let's change it into a clickable module rather than a hover module. So just go in there. 
Remember, we're in the Supreme Flipbox settings. We're not in either of our modules here. We're in the main module. Go over to your design, down to animation, trigger animation on. Now, a common question I've been asked before is a lot of people get this far and say, well, I can't find the animation. Mine's not got it. Chances are, that if you can't see it you're in one of your modules here because if we go into one of the modules down to design you're not going to find it there we save that back into the supreme flipbox setting design animation there we are and let's perhaps flip it up this time and let's go and change our little logo on there to an up arrow perhaps and let's say tap on me or something like that And is the image an icon? Let's change that to a little up icon, perhaps. We're good to go. I won't change anything else. Let's just save that now. Make sure we're on click down here. Great. There's various other types. You can slide it in, zoom it in, or fade it in. I'm going to leave mine on flip today. And you can either choose to click on the whole thing like I've got at the moment or you can just click on a button if you want to put on a button on the front that says click here or tap here you can do that as well so let's save this now we'll save our page changes again yeah, let's exit the visual builder and there we have it there's our first one with the hover effect and our second one not going to do anything till we actually tap on it and we've got our call to action on the back there. Like I say, that's a really nice little feature. I like that tap one a lot, which makes this stand out for me amongst other Flipbox plugins that I've tried. And just in case anybody doesn't know how, if you were gonna do hover ones on your desktop and you wanted to have tap ones on your mobile devices, very simple. Let's enable the Visual Builder again. I'm quickly going to go to the back end. I'm going to drag these two clicky ones or tappy ones to the same row. So I'm going to hit my little purple button. I'm going to go into the back end mode or wireframe mode there. And let's move this one down here. And we'll move that one up there. Now if I go back to desktop mode, we should have a click and a tap. There we go, here's the clicky ones on the bottom and here's the hover ones on the top. So the hover ones we're just going to want to show on desktop. So let's go into this row, green tab for a row, blue tab for a section, dark tab for a module. So we're going to go into this row, advanced visibility. And this is a hover one, so I only want to see it on desktop. So let's disable it on tablet and phone. So we're just going to see it on desktop. And if we go down below, let's go into this row, over to advanced visibility. And I only want to see this on phone and tablet, so I want to disable it on the desktop. And as you can see, it's kind of grayed it out in our desktop view there. Now let's save everything once more. We'll exit the visual builder. So there's our desktop version with our just hover ones on there. I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tool. So if, if I hit F12, I can get responsive devices up. There we go. And there's my responsive device toggle. If I click on that, we've got an iPad Air and we've just got the clickable ones here. And let's take a look on our iPhone 12 or something. There we go. And we've just got our little clickable ones. Let's make that a bit bigger. And we've got our little clickable ones right there great if I go back to desktop mode we just got our little hover boxes again so there you go guys that's my opinion anyway this that's my favorite flip box go to which was Divi Supreme modules if you want to learn more just click on the link below the video I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.